We still don't really know who the heck they are, but President Obama wants to give the rebels in Syria $500 million for training and equipment. Ron Paul thinks that would be a very big mistake. Uh, the former congressman, presidential candidate joining us now. Why would it be a mistake, Congressman? Well, it just continue, it continues the mistakes that we've been making over in that region of the world for the past 10, 12 years. But uh, no, they don't know where the money goes. They don't know where the weapons go. They want to give it to the Free Syrian Army. We've done a lot of that already. But those weapons ended up in the hands of ISIS, and uh, it's, they were supposed to be used to get rid of Assad. Assad is more secure now than he was a few months ago. Uh, it's good for the military industrial complex, and I guess they want to sell more weapons. But it makes no sense whatsoever for us to put more weapons in there to be used against, uh, you know, the uh, Maliki government and the government that we spent so much blood and guts to establish and, and a democratically elected government, by the way. But we have to get rid of Maliki now. At the same time, we want unity in the government. It, it, just makes, it just makes so much sense that we should change our foreign policy. This whole idea that we can be everything to everybody and we have endless money. I wonder how many Americans want to loan the government money to get that half a billion dollars to buy more weapons. I don't think many Americans say, oh, you know, that sounds a good, like a good investment. I think I'm going to loan the government some money so they can pay these bills. Well, the other issue is uh, we don't know whose side we're on. I mean, we seem to quietly have welcomed Syria's role in Iraq and the western part of Iraq to crack down on, on, on ISIS, uh, but these are the same folks who uh, we want to take out of power by arming um, the rebels in, in Syria. So we don't know even consistently whose side to be on. This was happened with the Arab Spring. You and I got into that after we were trying to figure out, all right, who, who's the side we like? I guess it ended up being the side that least to test us. So are you saying that just stop all this period or what? Well, what I'm saying is the policy never makes any sense. You know, not too many years ago, we were sort of on the side of, uh, of uh, Saddam Hussein when right. we urged him to fight the Iranians. And then we threw him out or helped get him out. And, uh, and now uh, we're on the side of the Iranians who uh, we put in a government that aligns themselves with Iran. So uh, it, it just, I don't well, know. Well, do you worry, totally though, Congressman, that, and I think you and I got into this before, that if we don't get involved, then whatever the good reasons for staying out of it, the Russians, the Chinese, they will, and they'll exert leverage or influence that will be to our detriment and our peril. You say what? Yeah, sort of like the Soviets went into Afghanistan and settled that problem, and it helped bring down the Soviet system. No, why, why should we bog ourselves down? If somebody else wants to do it, that's their problem. But I don't think they, I don't think they will. I think what mm. has happened is the realignment is, is going to come. Uh, we're not going to have a unified Iraq. I've argued that case for many, many years. It's not a good idea to try to unify uh, a group of people who don't want to be unified. And I think ISIS, as evil as they are, are, they more or less knew the geography better. So they've carved out a new country in theory, which actually overlaps the Kurdish, Kurdistan, which is likely to come out of all this. And uh, this is uh, this is uh, this is a movement. It's it's going one direction, and no matter what we do, how many weapons we send, we can't stop it. We can yeah. slow it up. We can bankrupt ourselves. We, just we can kill a lot of people. But believe me, it's ultimately going to be divided up uh, into several different countries. Yeah. And that would be good. I think the smaller the units of government and, and the right of self-determination is very, very important. Okay. And we used to preach that, but we've forgotten all about it. Real quick, I'm jumping on you here, Congressman, but I thought wanted to get your, you to weigh in on this uh, suit on the part of Republicans led by John Boehner uh, to challenge the president in court for all these executive orders. Uh, what do you make of that? Well, I don't think it's going to go anywhere. I don't think it makes any sense. Uh, they probably won't have standing. And, uh, you know, I've, I've always seen the Congress as part of the problem, if not the major part. They've, they've ceded so much power to the executive branch, so the executive branch overreaches, oh, I'm going to sue you. Well, uh, I think there's a political solution to it when the president gets out of hand, and it's, and it's called impeachment. So uh, I don't think that's... Uh, would you I don't up think the, the, uh, would you up the ante to that level? 
Uh, I, well, I've said that there aren't very many presidents in my lifetime that didn't deserve <laughs> impeachment for one way or the other because they usually were doing things that I disagreed with. But yeah, impeachment, uh, impeachment is a more logical position than uh, suing him in court. But I want to put the blame across the board. It's bipartisan, and it's uh, with the various departments in our government. The Congress, uh, you know, have, has given these powers to the president. Nobody says anything about the executive branch writing laws routinely. That's what mm. that's what the administrator administrators do. Uh, they write regulations, and those are laws. So an executive order, sure, but you got to sort it out. Some executive orders are very, very law, uh, constitutional. Presidents have a right to write executive orders, but they don't have a right to have the arrogance of the president say, "Well, the promise doesn't do this. I have my telephone, I have my pen, and I'm <laughs> going to do it." I no. don't know how anybody can put up with that, and that's probably what's aggravating uh, what Boehner doing and maybe there'll be some good come up and just call attention to it so there's a little bit of PR benefits from these things but as far as this lawsuit going someplace and solving the problem I I probably wouldn't have introduced that type of regulation myself Ron Paul always a pleasure sir thank you very very much thank you